Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I look a bit crazy at the moment, but we're going to be doing this hair tutorial today, something a little different. And I'm going to be using this chopstick curler and it's only like £12. It is honestly amazing. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this fuzzy curly hair, then please continue watching. For this video today, I'm going to be using this chopstick curler. Absolutely amazing. I highly recommend. And I'm not too sure what temperature it goes up to, but honestly, it's amazing. Apologies if my room looks dark. It's because I'm filming at night. Anyway, we're going to jump right into it and I'm going to heat up my curlers. While waiting for those to heat up, I'm just going to take some heat protector spray. This is like a pound from Savers. You can get this anywhere, pound shop, Savers, anywhere like that. I'm just going to give it a bit of a shake. I'm just going to spritz my hair quite far away. We don't want it to be damp, not too wet. I'm going to take my hairbrush, comb through the knots. My hair is so long, so this is going to take me forever. Well, it's all natural, we don't have any air extensions, nothing like that. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to get some sectioning clips. They can be anything like this, or these ones. I call these crocodile clips because they have the teeth on the end. I like to use a comb, it's called a tail comb. I just like to section off my hair, so I'm going to first of all put all my hair back and then just grab the sides and just pop this up. It doesn't have to be neat, it could just be scruffy. And I'm just going to pop this in a little bun. I'm going to look crazy throughout this video, but hey, we're just going to go along with it. I'm just going to brush through those, make sure they're not knotty, a bit more spray, and I like to comb through it so it isn't too damp, down this side. I'm going to speed up this video, I'm just going to show you how to do a couple of curls first and then I'm going to speed through the whole of the video so you won't be bored. So first I'm going to grab a little tiny section, probably a smaller section than that of my hair, pop the rest of it back and I'm just going to pop the curler from the back of my head and just twist it around. I've got so much hair. And then you're going to twist the rest of it down so you kill the majority of your hair. And just hold it there for a few seconds. Count to like 30 seconds or whatever. And then just unravel it. I probably did this a bit wrong. Pull it out. And you've got your first little curl. I like to brush them out after, I just leave them like that for now. I'm just going to show you the next section. And you're just going to go from the back of the head again and do the same again. Twisting it round and just pull down the curler so you get the majority of your hair. Wait 30 seconds. unravel it and pull the rest out if you want just make it a bit curlier and there we have our little curls I'm gonna speed up the rest of the video and do the rest of my hair and I will be back
And then what I like to do once this side is done, I like to just brush through them with my fingers. Oh my God, I've just knotted up my hair. Okay, make sure it doesn't get knotty. If it does get too knotty, then just brush through them gently. We don't want to look like a frizz ball or anything, but... We don't want any knots either. Okay. You might want to go over a few curls just to make sure it's extra curly. Basically, you want to keep on going until you look like Fizz from Cory. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take our hair out and we're just going to take the next section. I used to have my hair like this all the time. Quite a few people used to ask me what I used and how I used to achieve this. I used to do it um, using a pencil. You should, basically, you get a pencil, do the same thing what I'm doing, and just get straighteners and just hold straighteners on there for ages. But honestly, this might take an hour, but that took two hours. It was a joke. Never again. Hence why I went for these bad boys. But for £12, you can't go wrong. Section. And we're just going to brush through that again, make sure we got no knots. Honestly, after you've watched this tutorial, you're gonna want one of these for Christmas. What is that curl? Cool? Oh my god, I forgot to put heat protector spray on both sides this time. Oops. Look what I just did to my hair. Look at that knot. Oh. No. Why do you do this? That knot is not gonna come out. Okay, I got the knot. I just ripped my hair out. Like the next section. Still got a lot of hair to go. I look so different. Oh my god. I look like Father Christmas. This time I'm going to use some heat protector spray again. Go through it so it isn't too damp. What are we saying so far? Hmm. Frizzy or what? Mm -mm -mm. I can remember last Christmas I did my hair like this. Oh yeah, I think I got these curlers for Christmas last year. That's how long ago I've had these. With this bit I like to just find where I want to section my hair off which would be somewhere along here because when I've got curly hair I like to have a side part in With the rest of the curls I'm just going to get a clip uh, pin that back and then use the spray again as usual comb through with my fingers this time I'm just going to take the back sections and leave the fringe to last. And 
and you just want to play around with it a bit you don't have to have it in a section if you want when I've got curly hair I just like to flip it over just play around with it a bit just little sections that need curling just go over them again there we have it I'm not going to use hairspray because I'm going to sleep in mine but you can use any hairspray honestly as long as it's one that can hold your hair in place all day if you're going anywhere nice or you just want it as casual casual hairstyle or you just want to stay in at Christmas like me Anyway guys, this brings you to the end of my hair tutorial. If you liked watching this video, then please give me a massive thumbs up just to let me know that you want to see more hair tutorials or something a bit different that isn't makeup. And please, please, please make sure to give us a massive subscribe. It means a lot, honestly. And it's helping me out loads. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.